everyone, welcome to the channel. If you want to know which men's casual button-ups actually resell online, you're in the right place. We're going to look at the top 30 brands of pre-owned men's shirts that sold on eBay during the spring and summer of 2022. This list is not ranked, but keep an eye out because I've starred the top 10 in this video. Let's get started. Our first brand is Ren Spooner. This is a half-button Hawaiian reverse print paddle shirt. It went for $39.98 and $5.95 shipping. And for each of these, we're going to take a look at the labels so you know what to look for. So this is the Ren Spooner label. And this particular shirt is 55% cotton and 45% polyester. Now I did take note of the top selling features. So for fabric, cotton was number one, then polyester, then silk. For style, Hawaiian was number one, then Western, and then preppy slash classic. And for general pattern, solid was number one, then plaid, then floral. Next we have Jams World. This is a vintage example. This one went for $79.99 and $4.99 shipping. And here's the label. And this is 100% cotton. Then we have Dragonfly. So this is an interesting line. Many of the prints are pop culture icons. So in this case, it was Bob Marley, but I also saw Scarface and the logo for the Rolling Stones sold several times. And they also had biker themes such as skulls. This one sold for $39.99 and $5.50 shipping. And here's the label. So you notice the artist's name is first, Bob Marley. And then it says, Clothing by Dragonfly. And I believe this shirt is 100% polyester. Next we have Brooks Brothers. This happens to be a golden fleece Egyptian cotton shirt. It has a multicolor pattern, so they called it rainbow. And this went for $45 and $5.95 shipping. So here's the logo for Brooks Brothers. And this is 100% Egyptian cotton. Next we have Polo by Ralph Lauren. This particular shirt is actually a Southwestern Aztec pattern with plaid. This one went for $39.99 and $7.99 shipping. And if you haven't seen it before, the polo label is a little different than the typical Ralph Lauren tag, but similar. This shirt is also 100% cotton. Our next brand is L.L. Bean. Many of the solds were flannel shirts. This one went for $44.95 and $5.95 shipping. Vintage seemed to be a preference as well. Here's our label. And this shirt is made of chamois or camois, depending on where you're from. Our next brand is Scully. They primarily make Western shirts. And so this one is embroidered. It is long sleeve and it's black. It went for $50.99 and shipping was $8.95. The label is pretty distinct. It looks like a piece of leather that's been engraved. And this particular shirt is 65% polyester, 35% rayon. Our next brand is Arcturex. This is a snap button plaid long sleeve shirt sold for $64 and $9.65 shipping. And be aware that this brand actually does an embroidered logo on the outside. Before we move on, we ask that if you find this content useful, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. We'd like to know which shirt brands you've had success selling online. Next we have Filson. This is a canvas button-up shirt. It sold for $40 and $7.95 shipping. Here's the tag. They're based in Seattle, Washington. And the material is 100% cotton. Now we have Wrangler. Majority of the sales were vintage Wrangler shirts and they were often Western or Aztec print. This one sold for $45 and $5.95 shipping. Here's the tag. And another feature you should notice is that these are not your regular buttons. These are actually pearl snap. This feature is very popular among these types of shirts. Here we have Burberry. This is a vintage men's large short sleeve shirt. This sold for $95 and $4.95 shipping. And this particular print is called the Nova Plaid Check. Burberry is famous for this print, so you may see it on some of their other products. Let's take a look at the tag. OK. 
Okay, so this one says Burberry of London. Some of them may just say Burberry. Our next brand is Paradise Found. This shirt is vintage and it is a another Hawaiian shirt brand. This one went for $39.99 plus $5.50 shipping. Here's the tag, so based in Honolulu, Hawaii. 100% cotton. Then we have Ariat. So Ariat, I noticed, had several of their work fire resistant shirts that we're selling. So these aren't just typical Ariat shirts. These are the flame resistant FR. This sold for $38.88 and $5.95 shipping. And the tag here is very distinct. It has the FR for fire resistant. It also has a logo on the outside. And another side tag here. Next we have Faherty. This is a flannel shirt, blue pink plaid, long sleeve. This sold for $34.95 and $5.30 shipping. And here's our label. This one happens to be organic cotton and it has 2% spandex. This next brand is also a Hawaiian shirt company. So this is Tori Richard. This is a 100% silk Hawaiian shirt. It sold for $33.99 and $5.95 shipping. Here's the label. I did want to show you the other two labels I found in case you see them. They're a little bit different from each other. Here's another one. And here's the third one for Tori Richards. So they're all a little different. Our next brand is Columbia. The fishing series of shirts does really well on eBay. So this one sold for $35.97 and $9 shipping. And they're called PFG Performance Fishing Gear for Columbia. And then we have the normal Columbia label. And this shirt is 100% cotton. The mesh lining is polyester. And then the back here is a vented shirt. Next is Howler Bros. This button-up shirt is orange plaid short sleeve. It sold for $49.99 and $5.99 shipping. And you'll notice here it has the pearl snap feature again. Here's our label. And here's a close-up of that pearl snap. And this shirt is 60% cotton and 40% polyester. Now we have Peter Miller. I found that the Peter Miller polos did very well, specifically the Summer Comfort series. So there were several of these sold on eBay. This one sold for $38 and shipping was $5.30. Let's take a look at that tag. So you can see it actually says Summer Comfort on there so you'll know. And this shirt was a polyester blend. Next we have Mizzen and Main. This is another button up shirt, short sleeve. It sold for $36.88. The shipping was $5.99. And here's our label. You can notice this one is made in USA. And this shirt is 85% polyester and 15% spandex. Moving on, we have a vintage Ralph Lauren shirt. It sold for $48.88 and $8.50 shipping. And let's take a look at that logo. What I notice with the Ralph Lauren brand in general is that vintage is definitely more popular for sales. So people are looking for those older 90s style shirts and this, this patchwork pattern is very popular. Also the Southwestern Aztec pattern. And the surprising thing is this shirt actually sold even though it is very defective. It has a large hole. It's still sold for $48.88. Our next shirt is Robert Graham. This clothing line is known for its vibrant prints on the inside of the shirt. So if we take a look at the collar, you can see a print on the inside and also on the cuff. And inside, you can also see the embroidered label for Robert Graham. Here's a close up. This shirt sold for $39.99 and $6.99 shipping. Next we have Woolrich. There were a lot of vintage shirts that sold. This one sold for $33.99 and $9.45 shipping. Here's the vintage tag, and we can see that it's mostly wool with a little bit of nylon. Next we have Vineyard Vines. This is a plaid Tucker Slim button-down shirt. This shirt sold for $35 and $5.20 shipping. Here's the label, and it says Slim Fit Tucker Shirt. It's 100% cotton. Now we have Tommy Bahama. This is a silk Hawaiian shirt. 
It sold for $54.95 and $6.25 shipping. Here's the label. Several of the Tommy Bahama shirts were silk. Now we have Pendleton. This is a flannel button-up shirt. This one sold for $39.99 and $8.95 shipping. Here's the Pendleton label. Sometimes it's a different color, but it's always going to be in this font. Material is 100% wool for the shell, and the lining was polyester and cotton. Then we have Nat Nast. This is a rockabilly style shirt. It sold for $65.97 and $5.50 shipping. Here's the label. And this shirt is 100% silk. Now we have J. Crew. This is a chambray short sleeve work shirt, button front, sold for $37 and $3.59 shipping. I did notice that for J. Crew, there were three categories that sold often the vintage 90s, the Irish linen, and the chambray style shirts. Let's take a look at the tag. And here's the tag for Irish linen. Here's a vintage tag for J. Crew. And this is the more modern tag. Next we have Patagonia. This shirt is a long sleeve pearl snap button up. This sold for $30 and 49 shipping. Here's the label. And this is 100% organic cotton. And there's the pearl snap. Moving on, we have Taylor Stitch. This is a dark wash denim button down shirt. It sold for $39.99 and $8 shipping. And here's our label. And this shirt is also 100% organic cotton. Our final brand is Harley Davidson. This is a short sleeve plaid collared button up shirt. It sold for $34.99 and $6 shipping. Here's the label. It has the classic logo for Harley Davidson. And if you take a look at the back, there's a very large embroidered logo. This shirt is 100% cotton. As always, we hope this information was useful to you. Please like, subscribe, and leave a comment letting us know which item categories you would like to see in future videos. Thank you for watching!